bringing the Okanagan home to you. This is CHBC News at 5. Well, it was a long journey to give some young people in Africa a second start to life. A group of Okanagan doctors and support staff recently traveled to Ethiopia to repair cleft lips and palates. Left untreated, children living with this condition are often rejected from society and prone to health problems. CHBC cameraman Colin McDonald accompanied the group to Ethiopia. And all this week we will be sharing with you their experiences, beginning now with the conditions the Okanagan volunteers found in Ethiopia. <laughs> Addis Ababa is halfway around the world, but it's an entirely different world than these Okanagan doctors and nurses are used to working in. They're not ideal, but you do what you can. It's a world where things are broken, worn out and dirty. It's tough here, you know, we uh, <laughs> getting our uh, power running uh, without shorting out our anesthetic machine. We've had, you know, the power trip out several times. We work in, in conditions uh, which we're not familiar with which are certainly not up to uh, Canadian standards by any stretch of the imagination, but we, we make it all workable. They make it work because what they're doing is important. This group of 14 volunteers from the Okanagan has come to Africa to change lives with a relatively simple surgery. In Canada, one in 600 children are born with a cleft lip or palate. In the third world, the rate is much higher. In Canada, no one goes untreated. In the third world, very few get treatment. And children living with a cleft palate have a tough life. They tend to be isolated. They uh, do not have an opportunity to go to school. Um, they're sort of sometimes abandoned by their family. A lot of these kids, for example, that are born with these deformities, it's, it's felt perhaps that maybe there was an evil influence that caused this. Um, they're shunned sometimes. They're, they're hidden behind the house, you know, in a barn. They're not brought out. And so it can be a real social stigma. Nobody knows for sure what causes cleft lips and palates. This is just something that happens to, you know, un unlucky but, but perfectly normal, good folk. So. During early pregnancy, the embryo's head is formed. Tissues grow together to form the face. Sometimes the tissues don't join, and a cleft lip and palate can be the result. There's a number of theories and, and, and suspicion that maybe certainly genetics has a component to play, maybe environmental factors have a component to play. Um, mostly I would say genetics and just bad luck. For these children, life takes a remarkable turn for the better after their surgery. First of all, they'll be able to, uh, to communicate more easily. Their nutrition will be better because they'll be able to eat better. But the main thing is they will not be ostracized from their community. They will become an integral part, not only the person that's been operated on, but their entire family. Well, tomorrow in part two, more on this mission to Ethiopia, the Okanagan volunteers who took part, and the Rotary Club campaign that funded it. You can find more information on the Rotoplast project by logging on to chbcnews.com as well.